Today begins the single greatest Pokemon Go event that has returned every year since its initial release back in like 2017. Welcome to Adventure Week. In this week, we have new Pokemon, new shiny Pokemon, and a ton of amazing spawns and research. Like right now, looking around, we've got the Lured Stop. There's actually Lured Stops everywhere. An awesome Pokemon on the nearby. And this is going to be kind of an interesting adventure because it's not just spawns from Adventure Week. I'm currently in an undisclosed island location playing a Pokemon Go event that is happening only on this island. Stay tuned for the video, it's gonna be awesome. This Pikachu is a bit of a giveaway as to where we are and what we're doing, but it's not the spawns we're looking for. The spawns we're looking for are these, 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 these. rock type Pokemon spawning everywhere. And maybe we can get some encounters with actually the research and field research part of this because I have Armaldo, what? I actually completed pretty much all of the research <laughs> from walking throughout the day today. We just traveled from uh, Los Angeles to Korea, so it's been a lot of, a lot of walking to say the least. Well, we do have this research to claim here, so let's grab this, the Adventures Near and Far, which gives us, okay, Rog and Rolla, that bad boy is secured. And then we have this reward as well, which will give 500 dust and an encounter with a Drillbur. All right, all right, all right. And we have more research. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a big part of the Adventure Week event as well. We get to choose a path. In which path, I honestly don't know. There's the sightseeing adventure, uh, collecting Pokemon, spinning Pokestops and hatching eggs, or the studious, which is uh, Pokemon field research. Let's do sightseeing. A little more of a sightseer right now than a, a studious sir. Okay, spin five Pokestops, walk a kilometer, catch 10 Pokemon, we'll work on this. We have this as well, the Adventure Week timed research. This was actually a purchasable research for $2. So we'll get to see what, what the encounters were for spending $2 to get Pokemon. And then we've got all of these as well. The, the Adventure Week collection, uh, we actually have several of them and all we have to do is just evolve to Pokemon. So those will do today as well. There's a lot more to do, catch and talk about. And to gauge the spawns during this event, we're gonna hatch, throw down, use the daily incense. Maybe find some exclusive Pikachu. Maybe find some brand new shiny Pokemon, which we're definitely hunting for today. Maybe Glarian Bird. You ready? <laughs> okay, we actually made it to the showcase here. I, I wanna see if we can get in this. Okay, entering the showcase, um, nope, maximum ent entries, dang it. A lot of people playing Pokemon to go on the island here right now. Okay, let's run up this daily. By the way, look, the spawns, man. We have Wild Aerodactyl, we've got this guy. Well, we got 18 spawns. Uh, a lot of Pikachu. There's a ton of Pikachu right now, which honestly is kind of fun. So, dropping the incense, I'm gonna lure up every stop that I walk past, particularly this one, because I think where we're gonna eat is actually right here. Okay, we got to the restaurant. There is two Poke Stops lured up here try to catch some Adventure Week Pokemon. This is cool. As you can see, there's like the Pokemon signs up here for the Air Adventures event that's happening here in Jeju. And we've been walking around and just finished food and we've got the Adventure Near and Far 2 out of 4. We've got a couple more things to claim here. Again, Geodude. It's honestly out of the research where we're gonna find some of the cool things today. And we've got some dust and another reward here, which is Encounter with Amora. Ah, as a part of this Adventure Week event, Amora and Tyrant have had their shinies released for the first time ever and they look incredible. So today we will for sure be trying our hardest to catch them. Oh, and we got uh, build research here too, which we'll have. This was catch 50 rock types for a Cray Dilly. Oh my God. This actually brings me to a good point. The field research for this event. Catch 15 rock type Pokemon, spin 10 Pokestops or gyms, walk two kilometers or hatch an egg. All of those will get you an encounter with Tyrant or Amora. Again, both of which can be shiny, the brand new shiny. Catch 50 rock types gives you Cray Dilly as we saw. Spin 30 Pokestops or gyms gives you a Kabutops. Walk seven kilometers gives you an Amistar. And hatch five eggs gives you Armaldo. So it's kind of cool. You get some like rock type evolutions or Tyrant and Amora, which are the brand new shinies. Definitely worth completing and speaking of completing we've got this guy right here just 3000 xp and nose pass encounter okay next phase here we have to use two berries walk two kilometers hatch an egg so gotta start working on this what a beautiful place we're kind of just walking around right now we're trying to find some desserts i think we might have found a spot but before we get that dessert i wanted to get some of this dessert which is research claims to maybe get a shiny here tap any one of these this is from the two dollar paid research by the way so money was thrown down for these encounters. I kind of like that, like, I don't know, if like you want to spend extra, you can get some extra encounters, but like, Amora and Tyrant are spawning ad nauseum in the wild, so 
I'm not sure if spending for non-boosted shiny, potential shinies is the way, but uh, I feel like you're lucky. Wait, can I tell people about my t-shirt? I just bought a t-shirt from a vintage store called Grandparents. And okay. their logo is, hello, my grandchildren. Oh, wait, what'd you just do? The bounce back feature? Yeah. When you get a Pokemon uh, high enough buddy level, you know, trust you enough to hit a ball back. Teach her, how to, you know, teach her to the ropes this weekend. All right, all right. Going for the shiny. Do you have any shinies while you've been here in Jeju? Uh, no, not since I got to Jeju. I have like, no, you know what? I caught quite a few when we did that comp day. Yeah, the They're Squirtle one. Squirtles. <laughs> it's a flock of shiny Squirtle. Yeah, no, I really think I only have shiny Squirtles. <laughs> all right, next one, come on. And then we got a- What, did I lose your All right, you gotta give a sound effect though, as you try to get the shiny. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. All right, let's do that a couple more times. <laughs> I don't know what my face is doing to, either. You're supposed to make the noise like as the shiny check's happening. No, after. it was happening. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This, this is how it's done, right? Ready? <laughs> like that. It's like the same as me. All right, all right, all right. We'll see. The last $2 check. We actually might have one more after this. It's gonna be. <laughs> nice, Seems all right. Better. That was better. Okay, and then, no, then we actually, from that, also get uh, two incubators and a super incubator, so not bad. Okay, we have some evolutions to do, we have some walking to do. I'm walking here, and hopefully some checking. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Hopefully some checking to do with some shinies. Really, that's all I want this event. Oh, and another big thing that's happening, this seven kilometer eggs, by the way, if you're not hatching these and you want to hatch eggs, this is the event to do it. The eggs only have four Pokemon, Turtwig, Turtig, Tur, what is that? Tortuga, Archin, Amora, and Tyrant. Obviously, the shiny rates are like not great from the eggs, so like, don't go shiny hunting there. But I'm gonna do a little uh, little hundred egg hatching video going shiny hunting there. So we're gonna see what we can get from it. Those are also super awesome to hatch during this event. So we're here on one of the main shopping streets in Jeju, and it's cool because it's like lined with uh, like all the, the Pokemon Island or uh, Jeju Island signs, which is cool. And they have like the Pokeball there too. It's all Pokemon down here. <laughs> it's kind of sick seeing that. Uh, and then in game, obviously, also all Pokeballed out. I have basically the Go Plus going because um, we were like eating some dessert and getting some coffee. Um, so I haven't really caught anything crazy, but this whole street's pretty much lured up from head to toe. I'm down with that. And over there, you can see, actually I'll join it. There's a brand new Mega in Pokemon Go, Mega Tyranitar. That was like kind of coming out as a part of this event, but it came out, I think a day or two before the event actually began. But I do not want to understate how important Mega Tyranitar actually is in Pokemon Go. This guy is awesome. This Pokemon, Mega Tyranitar, is a big reason why this update and event, the Adventure Week, is one of the best events of the year and definitely one of the best events of this year. Mega Tyranitar will be and is one of the best Mo Mega Pokemon that will ever be released in Pokemon Go. It is incredibly useful. As it stands, it's currently the number one rock type in the game and rock types are just super important to have because there's a lot of flying type raid bosses um, and just boss Pokemon to battle up against. So having a great rock, rock type, huge. Also, Mega Tyranitar is one of the best, if not the best dark types in Pokemon Go. And that is super helpful because there's a lot of psychic type legendary raid bosses, bosses in general to battle up against. It's really important to have a good dark type and a good rock type, and Mega Tyranitar is like the best of both. So a really important Mega, super cool Pokemon. Wait here, we'll Mega Evolve mine in a second. First we took this guy down, massive, and then also in order to take down Mega Tyranitar, best counters are your fighting types, just take those out, freaking bang them up. And really exciting, because Tyranitar is now a Mega, it means, ooh, we can get shiny Tyranitar out of a Mega Raid, and yes, also shiny Tyranitar in the wild. Tyranitar can be shiny in the wild. Imagine finding that, that would be insane. I definitely have seen, very rarely, but I've seen Tyranitar in the wild before, so now that it could shine, that is, that would be the craziest gamer moment ever. That was a pretty good idea. And then popping into my Mega folder here, we got 40 Mega Energy to evolve our Tyranitar, my shiny lucky. I think I got this thing to level 40 as well, or level 50. I'm gonna max this out. What? Sorry, the bench is wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in a puddle. Nice. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I just was shocked. <laughs> and there it is, shiny. This is shiny Mega Tyranitar in Pokemon Go. It looks incredible. 
incredible. And again, one of the most meta-relevant Pokemon really to ever come out in the game and definitely one of the best Mega Pokemon to come out. It is a really big important thing. Get your energy up for it. Okay, we've got a bit of a walk back to our hotel. We've got so many Regis and Mega Latias and Latios in the nearby due to the event happening this weekend. And a little bit more research to complete and some evolutions to do to finish off this grind. Oh wait, first let's just do this because we'll pick up more on the way in. Oh, dang it. We have found the, the Pokemon store. Huh? They like set up a pop-up shop here in Jeju, obviously during the weekend that the uh, the Air Adventure event is happening. So again, very pokemon out in the city, but that's cool. We're gonna go inside and maybe buy some stuff. Okay, back in the hotel, it is was a warm, long travel day. My camera's falling over, but it did take down another Mega Tyranitar raid, and God, I'm really trying to get a wild, wild. A shiny Tyranitar out of this, that'd be so sick. But also definitely trying to stack up on the Tyranitar Mega Energy, because again, I don't know when this thing is gonna come back to Mega Raids, but while it's here, all five of my remote raid passes, all go into that guy. Nice. Caught him though, IVs, God. This is cool that this is in Mega Raids. And honestly, I've been playing and go plusing all day, and I, I haven't gotten shiny. <laughs> this event's gonna be tough, eh? Did get 100% arch in though. This you'll see in another video. Stay tuned for that and subscribe because that will be awesome. Right now, I wanted to actually complete this. Oh. And the adventures near and far research. This is page three of four, so let's see what else we get from here. Dwebble, reward with Tyrant. God, one shiny man. Give me one shiny out of this research. Let's claim the reward. 4,000 XP, by the way. That is fantastic. And a diglet to end on? What is that? Oh, because it's not over yet. Okay, we still have some more research there. These, though, we just have to make some evolutions happen. And easy. Let me finish this off. One one more one more Mega Tran Oh, I'm out of coins? One more Mega Tranitar raid. And boom, the next Mega Tranitar down, which will deliver another 225 Mega Energy. And please give it. God, dude, I can't tell you the last time I got a shiny out of a Mega Raid. Still so cool <laughs> that we can get this shiny now in the raids and in the wild. Beautiful, that's caught one more time. Fantastic. And now let me finish off these evolutions and let's see what's inside this research. Okay, I did it. We've got the uh, couple of these adventure, actually all of them to complete. So really curious to see what the encounter is because, well, I have not caught a shiny yet today and I would love to get one before the video's over. Amora, number one. Claim that, we'll get this. And Tyrant, number two. Then we've got this one with about 2,000 Stardust. We should have had a star piece down. Another Amora. And the last one here. Got the Stardust. <sighs> and a Tyrant non-shiny. And there we go, the research is pretty much done. We're working on field research. We've got nothing else to do here, really. And as for the raids, Tyranitar is gone. Oh, look at this, we got a collection challenge, though. Nice, we're at 89. Beautiful. Oh, wait, did we just get 90? Haha, <laughs> we got 90. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch of these. 91, 92. Cool. And that is my grind of Pokemon Go's best event of the year, Adventure Week. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.